Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. I am Dr. Puru Dhawan and we are back with another informative video about kidney and kidney related disorders. Fruits are undoubtedly an essential part of kidney patient's diet as they are rich in nutrients than other food items. But are all fruits are good for a kidney failure patient? No. Different fruits have different properties. For example, they carry different vitamins, electrolytes and different acids. That's why we brought you this video to tell you about the fruits that will be beneficial for your kidney failure patients. The fruits that I am going to tell you will definitely help you to reduce your kidney levels and keep your potassium level in control. It is obvious that when your kidney are not healthy or when they are not working properly, it become unable to remove all the waste substance. The kidney's function of removing excess creatinine, urea, excess potassium get disturbed. So this waste starts accumulating in your body which eventually affects your health and causes problems like fatigue, sleeplessness, breathlessness or weakness etc etc. Let me tell you all these complications are directly related to your diet. So if you pay enough attention and little cautious about what you should eat or not then most of such complications can be avoided. As I already told you fruits are essential part of renal diet. Generally in a kidney failure patient we have to avoid two types of fruits. First is citrus. Any kind of citrus fruit contains ascorbic acid and citric acid. Now in a patient of a kidney failure what is happening when the kidney are not functioning well the kidney are unable to excrete the excess amount of acid through urine. Now when the kidney are unable to excrete this acid this acid will accumulate in our blood which causes fall of pH the blood become acidic and this condition is known as metabolic acidosis. Now suppose a kidney failure patient is taking large amount of citric fruits like mango, oranges, quinoa. what will happen? All these acid will accumulate in the body and which causes further aggravation of the metabolic acidosis. So in a kidney failure patient when the level of creatinine is below 4 mg per deciliter this acid is not that strong that it may cause any kind of damage to the kidney. But once the level of creatinine increases above 4, what happens? There is also the accumulation of the acid. Now the acid becomes so strong that it causes further damage to the kidney. That's why once the level is breached of 4 by the creatinine, we see a sharp increase in the level of. Therefore, all kidney failure patients are advised to take sodium bicarbonate, aka baking soda in their medication because we want to control this acid in your blood. So if you are a kidney failure patient, you have to avoid all kind of citric fruits to avoid the condition of metabolic acidosis in the body. So in a kidney failure patient, we have to avoid all kind of citrus fruits because they contain ascorbic acids and citric acid in a large amount. And those fruits are oranges, mango, kiwi and the rest list is Another important thing you need to keep in mind while selecting fruits for your diet is to see how much potassium they carry. For a kidney failure patient, we advise they should only select those fruits that carry a low amount of potassium. Potassium is the essential electrolyte for our heart and muscles. But having an imbalanced amount of potassium can cause a severe complication like heart attack. When I see report of my patient, 4 out of 10 patients have imbalanced potassium level, generally on a higher side. So in a kidney failure patient, we have to avoid all kind of high potassium fruits like kiwi, banana, coconut, avocado, apricots, etc, etc and the less traces on your screen. Now the question arises what kind of fruit can be taken by a kidney failure patient. You can take apple, papaya, guava, lemon melon, musk melon because they are not citrus in nature and they contain potassium in low amount. Now let's talk about the amount of fruits you can take. As I told you there are only specific fruit that you can eat but you also need to take care of the quantity of these fruits. You should eat only a bowl of fruits. Either you can take one apple or one guava or one bowl of apple and guava mix or you can take with papaya, you can take some you know melon into it. You can make mixed bowl of fruits. Now moving forward, we all know kidney failure patients mostly face low hemoglobin level problem. So we recommend patients to eat more such fruit that help in the increasing their hemoglobin. But how is hemoglobin formed and what components are required to increase hemoglobin? 
these components are protein iron b12 folic acid and erythropoietin i am sure you know all about protein iron b12 and folic acid but most of the kidney patient doesn't know about erythropoietin erythropoietin is a hormone released by our kidney which is essential in the regulating the formation of the red blood cell in our body because erythropoietin is a hormone we have to take externally if you are facing anemia in your body let me suggest a few fruits that will be quite beneficial for you in this situation first is pomegranate although it is high potassium fruit it can be beneficial only if you take limited amount only one cup also you have to be careful that you do not eat the seeds of the pomegranate moreover if your potassium level is already high then you should avoid taking pomegranate moving forward a very important factor that we need to keep in mind while adding fruits to our diet is that we should not take fruit in juicy form because juicy form has more potassium and less fiber it will elevate the blood sugar levels and will automatically affects the health of your body similarly jaggery or brown sugar carries high potassium they contains consolidated amount of potassium which is too high for a kidney failure patient so we recommend you to avoid all use of brown sugar and jaggery in your diet so i hope this information is useful for you and you are more aware now about which foods you can eat in kidney disease and how to add foods to your renal diet but if you still have any doubt feel free to connect with our experts we provide free consultation for more such informative videos subscribe to our youtube channel and keep watching namaskar